I'm Wags with Iron Man 4x4. Today I'll be showing you how to use a zipper, followed by how to set up this awesome 270 Delta Wing XTR 143 awning. Find your zipper and unzip it. Nailed it. Flip the case up out of the way, and we got three heavy duty straps. Out. Now what's different about the XTR 143 is it actually has two hinge points, one in the rear and one in the front. We're gonna open the front first, which is this guy right here. And as we swing it open, it's gonna come out and stop at 90. It's got this wall, which we can unfurl later, but your kit also came with some of these tie down straps. So grab those, you're gonna hook the first hook now let's secure it to somewhere on the front of your vehicle. You can do what you want, whatever works. A lot of people hook it to a wheel. I am gonna hook mine to this ditch light bracket mount because it is secure. I know, because I bolted it in all on my own. We're going to pop the cam latch, take up our slack like that. Sweet. Reach in, grab this arm, and we will walk it around. Everything's gonna come flying out in its ultimate beauty. And then I've got another strap back here. I'm gonna hook it right through this loop. I've got it hooked to my bed rack and I'm gonna tighten it down. These awnings are aluminum, so you don't wanna crank down so hard that you break it, but you do want the fabric nice and tight. Now the XTR 143 is a fully self-supporting awning, so you don't have to drop legs, but it does come with them. Look, there's no wind right now. If I was just trying to, you know, provide some shade to work on my truck or get some gear out or, you know, heaven forbid, take a break for a minute, this is fine. But if you're gonna hang out for a long time, it's always the safest bet in cheap insurance to drop the legs down, pin down your guy lines, stake them down. Then if a gust of wind does come up, you know you're gonna be fine. These heavy duty U-channel awning supports have enough room to hold the legs up inside of them. So to get them down, you wanna Pull these tabs and undo the Velcro. We don't want the fabric to flap and fly away. So once you drop your poles, secure the Velcro back up. These legs are just like a standard tent pull. To unlock them, twist, let it drop, twist it back, locks in place. We've got this extra big piece of material. It's a windbreak. We can also use it with some tent poles for extra coverage on our awning or we can run it down about a 45 and stake it to the ground so grab your accessory bag full of your tent stakes and a mallet or a rock or something you can hit it with don't use your teeth and we will drop this we'll pop these toggles out we can either pin it down here as a nice windbreak or we can pull it up here like this throw a couple tent poles into it and look at that, look at all that extra awning coverage that we have. Or you can just stand here and hold it the whole time. And if you don't like those two options, this is actually sitting up in sail track so we can remove the whole thing. Roll it up and put it away. Well, the wind's picking up, so let's get these things staked down. I like to leave my guy lines hooked up and I flip them up on top of my awning. Then they're out of the way, but they're always there and ready to go. So if it does get windy, reach up, grab them. I leave the tensioner at the top. I'll throw a stake in the ground, pin it down, let out some slack, hook it up, pull on the top here, drag the plastic tensioner back up. I could do it all day long. You're all done, son. It's all set up, time to relax. And packing it back up is just like setting it up, but backwards. Let's pull our guidelines and our stakes. It's always good to be organized, and if you do everything the same way every time, that's called setting a good habit, then you won't lose stuff. Get these back in our bag. We'll get this windbreak all rolled up and out of the way. We'll hook these toggles up through the hoops. We'll get our pulls put away and all stowed. Almost all the way up, twist to lock. We'll open up our Velcro straps. Tuck our pole up inside the frame channel. And 
And if you're working off a tailgate, loosen up this tension strap, undo it, we'll set it aside, and then we'll swing this out. And now we can close this pole down. Great, tuck that in there. We'll walk these around here. Let those hang there for a minute. We'll work around to the front for our front tensioning strap. We'll loosen the cam lock, unhook it from our ditch light mount. Unhook that guy there, we'll set it aside. So your back hinge is gonna close first. You wanna pull your cover up and out of the way. Go nice and slow. Once you have that closed up, we'll bring the front hinged support bar around. Takes a little bit of work, but once you get all this fabric folded up in here nice and tight, find your strap, hook it through the top piece, lock down onto the Velcro, same on the front and the back. All right, that's it, packs up nice and tight. I love these XGR 143s, they're packed full of great features at an amazing value. If you wanna pick one up, go to ironman4x4america.com.